we are back to our 6 a.m. study grind again. I haven't done this in a little while because waking up at 6 a.m. is like physically not good for my body. I'm kind of a night owl by heart. But sometimes you just gotta get things done and waking up early is the only way that I can fit all of my work into my schedule. This morning I am focused mainly on analyzing some data because I spent actually a lot of last week in the lab actually doing wet work, running experiments and assays. So I have a lot of numbers to go through and I brought them home all in my USB. Part of me wish that I started on analyzing this data last night so that I wouldn't have to look at it fresh right now, but I usually bring home data on my USB and my SSD card. And then last night I have my lo-fi playlist left open and then also started on some other research. And now, so this is the brand new data that I got from the lab yesterday. No analysis on it, it's just completely raw data. Also trying out a new computer setup. I used to have my laptop in front of me and then my monitor beside, but I'm trying to see if I switch it over and having a bigger screen would help me not like lean forward like this and hunch back. So yeah, we're gonna go get some work done and I'll show you my progress in a little bit. actually now almost 12. I have not eaten breakfast yet. It is getting so late. I think I was just like super locked into work and I felt pretty okay. I think the coffee was really holding me so I didn't feel hungry but now I'm really really hungry. In terms of work though, really good progress. I have so many excel sheets open like all of these numbers that I've been analyzing. This is my plate layout right here on the right. I have like a trillion sheets that are just open so I've been staring at this since like 7 a.m. and actually feeling pretty good energy wise. Once I got into to the flow of analysis. I really like it. I also recently finally bought the Apple trackpad. Been thinking about investing in one for a really long time and it's actually really useful because then I can scroll horizontally, zoom in if I really need to. I don't usually splurge on tech but when I do it's for productivity. Anyways, it is time to make some lunch, breakfast. I have to head into lab within the hour so I'm gonna eat really quickly, dressed, get my makeup done, and then head into lab. so tired. I take back everything that I said before. I am not energized. I'm crashing again. I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer, just some light makeup so I don't look as dead, and then I'm gonna go to school.
so excited to be partnered again with Paper Life today. I've been using Paper Life since 2021 when I bought it with my own money as an undergrad student with any productivity tool that I have believed in for so many years to now be able to work with them can come true. If I have seminars, I'm using my iPad to annotate down my notes directly onto slides or right now what I'm using it more for is actually reading literature and reading papers. The last time I replaced my Paper Life screen protector, I actually got a few bubbles underneath the screen and I didn't notice this for a week because I thought I did a really, really good job and then now my OCD brain cannot ignore it anymore so we're gonna replace it today. What I think is really cool about Paper Life 3 is the butterfly application system because it just takes away all of the common issues of applying a screen protector like the dust bubbles, the misalignment. I did spend quite a bit of time last time trying to install my screen but even so I got dust particles trapped underneath it. This new system is a four layered sheet so you have the paper like screen protector, a built in dust catcher and then two protective foil sandwiching it. That means when you peel back the first protective foil that first sticky part is actually the built in dust catcher and then when you peel that back then that's the actual paper like screen protector sticking to your iPad screen. And this system's great because that means that the sticky side of your actual screen protector is protected the entire time throughout installation and it has no chance to interact with the dust that's floating around your room. And everything you need for instructions in a step-by-step -step guide are in the QR code that's all over the packaging and you can actually follow the guide live as you install the screen on your iPad. It's going to make installation much more reliable and a lot less daunting. I actually love Paperlike so much because it does replicate the feel of writing on premium paper on your iPad. Their nano dots technology creates a micro texture surface so that it gives you the ideal friction and that tactile feedback and resistance like writing on real paper. When I was writing on my bare iPad on that glass screen, I was like literally slipping everywhere and it introduced a lot of wrist pain and fatigue. It does not compromise on screen clarity and colors, so I still read all of my literature on my iPad and I zoom right into the details without any issues. I am always recommending Paperlike to students and colleagues who are relying on iPad for school as well, so make sure to check out Paperlike 3 for yourself. And as always, thank you so much to Paperlike like for sponsoring this segment of the video. If I go home, I'm not gonna do any work. But I'm also not gonna do any work here. I'm hungry and I need food. What did you guys buy? Um, I bought a romance book, I'm assuming. We'll get it. And then I bought this. 
Come back. I'm so hungry right now. It is 4.15. I know there's someone out there who's gonna judge me, but I'm gonna have these two boiled eggs. Just peeled straight out of the fridge because I boiled them last night, so they're cold and I'm too lazy to microwave. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of soy sauce on. Cheers. I'll also have an apple, so it's fine. It's technically a really balanced meal. I mean, I got like the protein, the carbs. This is technically kind of a vegetable. I don't think I stayed in the office for too long. It was really just to go in and check some data, but I think I worked long enough this morning to be really happy with my progress. And I'm gonna wrap up my work for the rest of the night so that I don't have to work too late into the evening. And then maybe I can relax a little bit after dinner. <laughs> Dinner for tonight, pan fried zucchinis and little potatoes. I've been asked multiple times before, it's like, how do you have the time to do the PhD and then also do your editing for YouTube and then like all the other stuff and still have time for social stuff and events? It is 10 p.m. on a Friday night and I am staying in so that I can edit this upcoming video. I have Safia Nygaard keeping me company so I don't feel as bored. There's a lot of times where I have to stay in on a weekend to do work and I skip out on time with friends and family. But you know, I'm still really happy to do it. It's not like I dread staying home right now. I find it really peaceful to just stay in on a Friday night. The weekend is just like a good time for me to finally just stay at home and de-stress. I find editing quite relaxing, so it's not terrible. But yeah, that's how I'm gonna spend the rest of my night. I'm just gonna eat this dinner and then I'm gonna edit away. I'm so happy with how the bread turned out. It smells amazing in my apartment right now. The noise in the background is just laundry running. I was doing some editing in between, but it is a Saturday. We are still doing work because work never ends. I'm gonna head to a cafe and do some work for a few hours. Mm -hmm.